I don't know that people realize at the event how much work and preparation goes into actually putting the event together because it really, we had, we start in August and September talking to the kids about what Empty Bowls is and starting to get ideas together for creation of their actual bowls and then the creation of the bowls probably takes a good two or three weeks but we have to stagger it because we have to run, run it through two different kilns. So um, it, it's a time consuming process. The art department puts a lot of time into this event. I'm really excited about the direction that Empty Bowls is going. We had a great year last year and, and we grew the event, but we've put a board in place that's a combination of students and teachers. And I think having multiple people that we're all bouncing ideas off of, it, it's just growing exponentially. We're getting more and more things going on and more and more great ideas. We actually formed a committee this year and got people to take responsibility for certain aspects. So setup was one, art was one, there, there were just food was another, and so it really helped when uh, the adults and we had a student um, that was also equally responsible with the adult uh, from the high school here to work through kind of problems prior to the, to the event. And so it went so smoothly this year. I would estimate that we probably had around eight or nine hundred bowls at the event this year. We had students from Sequoia Middle School, from Oneida Ridge, from uh, you know all, all of the classes here at the high school, the Margaret Hudson program, the PE classes. I, I think by the time we were all through, we probably had between eight and nine hundred bowls, which is just awesome. The turnout had to have been as good as last year, if not better, because we are probably, hopefully, uh, going to top out at about $7,000, and that's almost $2,000 more than last year. But the whole feel of the event, because it was more organized, it didn't feel as crowded and as confusing and, and things as, as last year was. Everybody seemed to get food when they wanted it. The bowl line was a little long, but other than that, people were able to move in and out and around, and I think that that was part of the success because they had time to enjoy themselves and then consider um, maybe bidding on the silent auction. Another component that we added in last year that we uh, basically improved on what was the entertainment and that again was so wonderful to have that extra component. I, I love the fact that the event is a collaboration between so many different people. We even got PTA involved this year. We had the dance group, we had orchestra, we had some drama kids, we have the whole entire art department. Uh, we have leadership kids. It, it, it's just awesome to see all those groups collaborate to pull the event together. We have soup that's donated from outside of the community, in, it, within the Broken Arrow community. Uh, and then the night of the event, you have people there from three years old to 93 years old, attending the event, helping with the event, getting all excited. I have people that have been to Empty Bowls every year that we've done it. Uh, and, and it's just a celebration of the Broken Arrow community, I think, and, and a way for us to give back to the community as we give back to Broken Arrow neighbors.